नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ टूडेज दैट इज ट्वेंटी एट सेप्टेम्बर सो यस्टरडे सम हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी रिपोर्टेड ओवर सम ऑफ द रीजन्स इंक्लूडिंग कोंकण एंड गोवा तमिलनाडु हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एंड हैवी रेनफॉल ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ सेवन टू ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर ओवर उड़ीसा छत्तीसगढ़ ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश तेलंगाना कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश मध्य महाराष्ट्र एंड साउथ वेस्ट राजस्थान सो इफ वी सी द वैल्यूज इन कोंकण एंड गोवा इन रत्नागिरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट वन ऑफ द स्टेट रिपोर्टेड थर्टीन सेंटीमीटर इन अंडमान पोर्ट ब्लेयर रिपोर्टेड फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर इन तमिलनाडु दिस कांचीपुरम डिस्ट्रिक्ट रिपोर्टेड ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर इन कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश काकीनाडा डिस्ट्रिक रिपोर्टेड इलेवन सेंटीमीटर इन मध्य महाराष्ट्र इन डिस्ट्रिक्ट पुणे रिपोर्टेड नाइन सेंटीमीटर सो सम ऑफ द सिग्निफिकेंट वैल्यूज आर देयर सो यस्टरडे दिस हाइएस्ट रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर पोर्ट ब्लेयर दैट इज फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर नाउ इफ वी सी द टूडे इज हाईलाइट्स सो देर आर थ्री हाईलाइट्स फर्स्ट हाईलाइट इज दैट कंडीशंस आर बिकमिंग फेवरेबल फॉर फर्दर विड्रॉल ऑफ साउथ मेस्ट मानसून सम पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ वेस्ट एंड एडजॉइनिंग वेस्ट सेंट्रल पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू थ्री डेज एंड सेकेंड हाईलाइट इज दैट टुडे साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन सीन ओवर म्यांमार एंड एडजॉइनिंग ईस्ट सेंट्रल वे ऑफ बंगाल एंड एक्सटेंड्स अप टू मिडिल टोपोस्पिक लेवल्स एंड अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दिस साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन ए लो प्रेशर एरिया इज लाइक टू फॉर्म ओवर दिस रीजन बार्ड मैंशन ईस्ट सेंट्रल एंड एडजॉइनिंग नॉर्थ ईस्ट वे ऑफ बंगाल एंड देयर आफ्टर इट इज लाइकली टू बिकम वेल मार्क लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर दिस नॉर्थ वेस्ट there after it is likely to become well marked low pressure area and move north west west toward north odisha adjoining west and west bengal coast during subsequent two days that is just subsequent 48 hours so accordingly we have mentioned here second point that a low pressure area likely to form over east central and adjoining north east bay of bengal during next 24 hours and third point is that a fresh spell of heavy rainfall likely to commence over eastern parts of the country from tomorrow that is 29th of september so these are the three highlights now uh, today there is no uh, further withdrawal of uh, southwest monsoon accordingly the same line of withdrawal line continues today also and the conditions are favorable but we have already, already mentioned in the highlights now If you see that today's uh, synoptic system, so this is the uh, cyclonic circulation. What we are mentioning here that uh, this is Myanmar and adjoining East Central Bay of Bengal, and a shear zone runs roughly 15 degree north across the cyclonic circulation over this north coastal uh, Karnataka, and other cyclonic circulations uh, one over uh, southwest and adjoining southwest Bay of Bengal and adjoining Tamil Nadu area, and another cyclonic circulation over. Uh, Uh, this uh, northern parts of madhya maharashtra and today western disturbance uh, since as it rough roughly 67 degree east and uh, 30 degree north roughly uh, afghanistan region now under the influence of these synoptic systems you will see that today orange color is given to andaman nicobar islands and konkan and goa because there is a possibility of very very rainfall at isolated pockets over there and heavy rainfall is expected over uh, nagaland manipur mizoram tripura and uh, tamil nadu kerala karnataka and uh, madhya maharashtra region if you see the map of tomorrow this is valid for 29 september you will see that this orange color is given to andaman madhya maharashtra and konkan and goa because of very heavy rainfall and very heavy rainfall is also likely over coastal karnataka otherwise heavy rainfall is expected over parts of northeast india including assam meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram tripura gangetic west bengal odisha Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and interior Karnataka. And on 30th, the more or less same spell, but increase is expected in heavy rainfall activity over eastern parts of the country. Therefore, this heavy uh, heavy rainfall is expected over uh, some of the pockets over East India, including Gangetic West Bengal, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha. And heavy rainfall is also likely over Madhya Maharashtra and Kerala. And very heavy rainfall is expected to continue over. Andaman Nicobar Islands, coastal Karnataka, and Konkan and Goa. On 1st of October, you will see that there is a possibility of very heavy rainfall 
over Odisha and heavy rainfall over Arunachal, uh, Assam Meghale, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Andaman Gwar Islands, and along the west coast, including Kerala, coastal Karnataka, and Konkan and Goa. If you see the map of 2nd of October, you will see that heavy rainfall activity likely to continue over eastern parts of the country, and there is a possibility of very heavy rainfall likely to continue on 2nd of October over Odisha and heavy rainfall over Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and uh, sub island West Bengal, Sikkim and Assam and Meghalaya. So these are the weather warning for the next 5 days. This is all about today's briefing. We will discuss again tomorrow with updated information. Till then, Namaskar, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.